The Disappearing Game is a really great film. This was an Aurora Tea Garden mystery from 2018. It's directed by Terry Ingram. And we have some new characters in this and a pretty suspenseful and kind of unpredictable mystery. I did work out kind of who was responsible, but I didn't fully work out why. So I kind of had an inkling, but certainly I didn't solve anything before it was revealed. There won't be spoilers in this discussion. I will say a little bit about what the mystery involves, but I won't give away who done it or what their involvement was. And this actually involves Aurora's cousin, a character called Philip, and he's played by Dylan Sloan, and he and his roommate go missing. And then somebody is found dead who is connected to them. I won't say who, I won't give away too much, but they're missing. This person has come up dead, and nobody has any idea what's going on. To begin with, it seemed like there were no obvious leads as to where the boys could have gone. Had they run away? Had they been taken? I genuinely didn't know and I wasn't sure what the outcome was going to be and I found this to be really gripping and really fascinating and I I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Something I really love about, well, I'm going to contradict myself in a moment, but one thing I really love about Aurora Tea Garden is how realistic the attitudes of the police are towards Aurora. Whenever she sticks her nose into a crime scene, they kind of complain a little bit to her and tell her that she shouldn't be doing it. And I, I find that to be really refreshing and, you know, it's a lot more believable and realistic. To contradict myself, I don't necessarily believe Aurora had enough of an emotional response to her own cousin being potentially in a lot of danger. She had no idea where he was, and yes, the sleuth part of her was keen to solve the, the crime or the mystery or whatever it was that was happening. She didn't really have an emotional response as a cousin. It seems like Philip was a, a close enough relative. It's not like she hadn't seen him for years or anything. So I feel like she should have at least taken a moment to get a little bit upset about it before allowing herself to go in with trying to solve the mystery or vice versa, going full steam ahead and then once she allowed herself time to process things, maybe letting the emotions take over. So yes, I think a lot of this is very realistic and the attitudes of the police, very realistic. Aurora, not necessarily as much, but it didn't bother me too much, just as a, a point of observation and room for improvement. Aurora's response could have been a little bit more realistic. As I said, we do have some new characters, obviously Philip, but we also have... Uh, the new neighbour, Nick, played by Niall Matter. I thought it was a pretty interesting, he was an interesting character and I liked what he brought to the film. I won't say exactly what he brought to it, but it worked very well within the narrative. And I am still missing the absence of Detective Lynn, but I have looked ahead and she does she does appear again in at least one other film. I don't know how many others, but I was worried for a moment that she just decided to leave the series or something, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So hopefully she'll be back before too long. It's a good, it's a good film. It's a very gripping, compelling narrative that's not that predictable. There was one moment where I worked out who it was. In fact, I'll tell you which moment it is in a mo in a in a moment with a spoiler warning, where I kind of realised that I was pretty confident that I knew who was responsible, but I still didn't work out the whys or the hows. So it definitely didn't didn't give away uh, too much at all. Definitely had a lot of fun with this one. If you're a fan of Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries and you haven't seen it, then I definitely, definitely recommend it. So the moment when I thought I'd worked out who was responsible. So this is a huge, huge spoiler. I'm going to give away who was responsible. I won't give away the whys or the hows, but I will explain who it is. And the moment when I realised I was pretty sure was when they realised the duffel bag, the bag with the money, it wasn't there. And I just thought, it's not that it, the money's been taken. The bag was never there to begin with. And I was pretty confident in that point that Dan had something to do with it. I actually suspected the first time we met him, just because of the way he carried himself and the way he spoke, I started to get a little bit suspicious, but I wasn't sure at that point. And then with uh, Aurora trying to find this ransom and it not being there, I just thought, no, it, it was never there to begin with. It hasn't been collected because it wasn't there. 
And I was pretty confident at that point, but I had no idea what what the motive for faking this ransom would have been or what happened to the boys. Had he killed them? Were they kidnapped? No idea at that point. So I was still, even though I was pretty confident, I was still clueless about a lot of things. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Without question, The Disappearing Game is a really great film.